Hey folks, hope you're having a great day wherever you're at. Take two. The first one, there was no sound. Not sure what happened there, so let's give it another whirl. Um, get out of your comfort zone. That's what I want to talk about today, because I think it's important to do that um, for everybody. It's, it's, it, you don't want to be content. You want to continuously be growing, learning, challenging yourself in, in various areas of your life. So get out of your comfort zone. How do you get out of your comfort zone? Well, for me, um, centering prayer has really been vital to the success of me getting out of my comfort zone. You know, centering prayer, you know, I sit with God um, simply because I love God and I trust God and I, and I come with no expectations. And what happens during centering prayer is I um, connect to my true self, uh, the person God wants me to be. I, I let go of who I'm not and, and connect to who I am and who the person God wants me to be instead of listening to all the interior voices that are telling me things that uh, I'm not good enough or I don't have the, t the wisdom to do something or I'm too old to try something or too young to try something. Um, centering prayer connects me to my true self, the person God wants me to be. Um, centering prayer, you know, God seems to grace me with fruits uh, that I notice outside of the practice, centering prayer practice. You know, confidence is definitely one of them. Excitement for life. You know, wisdom for tasks seem to pop into my head outside of centering prayer from time to time. I get nudges to get out of my comfort zone and try and, and do new things. Um, and I, if I have an inner peace about something and an excitement about something and it doesn't harm me, I consider that a barometer that it's it's a a nudge out of my comfort zone that I should keep moving forward on. Just because I'm nervous about it doesn't mean I, I shouldn't do it. So I, I think about this as a I sit with God, and then I get up and, and walk with God and partner with God. God comes with me from my centering prayer, sits into my everyday life, and is a constant presence. I, God is within me. God is behind me, pushing me forward. God is walking with me, holding my hand, partnering with me. And God is in front of me, pulling me forward and saying, let's go rich and challenging me just to continuously move, expand, learn, do new things and, and push out of my comfort zone into new comfort zones. And if I look back, you know, since I've been practicing centering prayer, you know, how has my comfort zone expanded? Um, it started with the website, Silence Teaches, just, just to share centering prayer with people. And from there, it moved to teaching in the community at local churches. And then it moved to teaching via Zoom in, in front of different groups, church groups, you know, across uh, the U.S. It moved into coaching, uh, working with people one-on-one, -on -one, helping them create a long-term, sustainable centering prayer practice, eliminating the barriers that were getting in the way of this practice, and help them discover their true self and live from their true self, the person God wants me them to be, which really is true freedom. My comfort zone moved into the book that I wrote and published um, a year ago, Sitting with God, A Journey to Your True Self Through Centering Prayer. That pushed me out of my comfort zone, just the idea of writing a book, and then the idea of reaching out to publishers and, and getting it published, and then the idea of marketing the book. And from that, it moved into getting on podcasts, and I've been on about 60 podcasts or so over the last year. And, and that, the initial idea of that scared me. That was out of my comfort zone. And I continue to do a lot of guest speaking in front of churches and pastor groups and spiritual directors. That scared me and no longer scared me. So that was getting into a new, getting out of my comfort zone and that then became a, a new comfort zone that I was comfortable with. Uh, this year I, I wrote the forward for two books that were published in 2021. but. That scared me, actually, even though I had written a book, the idea that I was asked to write um, the forward for two books initially scared me, thinking, who am I? Why, why should I be the one to write this? That was out of my comfort zone, but I, I did it, and now that's really part of my comfort zone. And I was asked to contribute a chapter in silence to a book which will come out in the uh, spring or so of next year, 2022. So these were all uh, examples, as I look back, of my comfort zone expanding and these things now becoming things I'm now comfortable with doing but that was a lot of comfort zone expansion 
Um, and I attribute it to centering prayer, and, and not centering prayer, it's God. God challenging me and moving me and saying, "Let's, we got this together, let's go, let's move forward, let's keep expanding your comfort zone, Rich. And if I think about the future, you know, what does it hold? I'm just going to trust God with what it can hold. Perhaps it's, it holds an online course or group sessions, some type of group sessions, or speaking in front of larger and larger groups. Uh, I'm going to just trust God and then trust Him and then go and, and go where I should go. So it's exciting just to think about what the next year and two years and five years might hold for me in terms of my comfort zone and continuously expanding it. So the question I'll ask you is, you know, are you getting out of your comfort zone as well? And centering prayer has been, you know, a vital part of that process for me, God and I partnering to move out of my comfort zone. So I simply want to challenge you, you know, get out of your comfort zone. Or are you getting out of your comfort zone? And perhaps a practice such as centering prayer can be helpful to you as it was as it continues to be a vital part of me getting out of my comfort zone trusting God and partnering with God as I continuously expand my comfort zone that's all that's all I want to talk about hopefully everybody can hear it this time since the first take there was no sound much love to all of you and I'll talk to you in about a week or so I'd like to pop on about a, every week or so and, and, and talk about a topic so much love to all of you.